we questioned even coming to Venice. The reviews were mixed from good friends that we trust. But just like Rome and Florence, no matter how many videos you watch or rumors you hear, you just have to find out for yourself. But Mark had his doubts. I want to be wrong, but I think that Venice is going to be just like another, like like a lot of the things you see on Instagram, curated pictures of people taking 900 photos and picking the right one and filtering it, and not mentioning the fact that it's maybe a little smelly or crowded or expensive. So I want to have a good time. I resolve to have a good time, but I will be very transparent in what it's really like. In this episode, we leave the Cinque Terre by train, rent a car to explore Parma visit Ferrari, and then drive to Venice. And we even see how McDonald's has modified their menu for Italy. But first, we have to say goodbye to the walkers. Morning. Day four in the white linen shirt. Let's, uh, let's see if Tony notices that uh, I don't wear anything else now. And this is it. This is what I wear. The white shirt's back on. <laughs> Day six. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what are you talking about? This isn't the same shirt. This isn't the same shirt. No. I think it's talking to me, by the way. It's like it's like one of the members of the group. It's got its own name. This is so great, you guys. I'm gonna see you pretty soon here. We'll see you. In a few weeks. weeks, we'll be in town. Oh, you will? Oh, yeah. Okay. Awesome. Be in your I'll place. be in the same shirt. I'll I know be in the you same. will. I expect, I expect it, by the way. All right, see you later. That was fun. Thanks for See everything, you guys. It was so awesome. Good. Yeah, right. I, I don't like those kinds of goodbyes, but we did have a blast. And as you said, it's sometimes a little bit annoying to have a camera on while you're actually traveling. Yeah. But it is the best when you're done and you get to look I know. back. So I know. thank you for always picking up that camera. You're welcome. Yeah. There's these really convenient little kiosks. They're right across there. See their little red ones, or you can download an app. But anyway, it was only five dollars one way for us to go from here to La Spezia, which is one, two, three, four, four or five stops from here. So that's really cool. And then you know what else begins? What? This is like the halfway point for Bell and my trip with you guys, and we get to kick your butt in Euchre in another country. <laughs> I think they forgot us? Not they seriously left without us, they didn't even slow down. <laughs> Make it to the train. It's a beautiful train ride, but most of the ride is inside the mountain, inside of a tunnel. There you go. No more view, but it is pretty, a very smooth ride and really good accommodations too. <laughs> Pietro non è 515, ma 515 non lo è. Ma dove è? 515. Ma 515 non lo è. 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 Ma 515 Las Vegas. Uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Fine. Nevada, fatto, poi fatto Bryce Canyon. Oh, yeah. Canyon. Oh, oh wow. Bryce Canyon? Bryce, Bryce Canyon, Canyon, amazing. Oh. Beautiful San Diego. Yeah. Yeah. San, San Diego, yeah. very nice. Yeah, yeah. oh yeah. Uh, San Francisco, fatto 6,500 kilometers. Oh, yeah. In car, wow. rental oh, car. Wow. Yeah. Perfetto, thank you very much. Grazie, yeah. grazie a voi. Ciao. Perfect. Okay. Nice job. I think I did pretty well. How much did it cost? $23 more for an extra day. How much did it cost total? $641. How many days? Eight. Eight days? Well, today's Friday. Yeah? Bring it back Saturday, eight days. Eight days, $640? I think that's pretty good. It's not bad. Divided by two? On a scale of one to 10, how would you rate having your own car in Europe? About, uh, 10.1. Yeah. Yeah, because, well, just if you're freedom lovers, and we are freedom lovers, Mark and I can speak for Mark, 
<laughs> it, it's the freedom you have. Yes, it's a pain in the butt to park sometimes. Yeah, it's hard to find. But having the ability to go when you want to go. Where you want to go. Where you want to go. When, when you want to go. I just don't like being a prisoner. And I feel like a prisoner when I don't have a car. I know. It, yeah, yeah. That's right, why we get along. That's why we get along. Wait, will you just hog my, my plug? No, I'm gonna, I got directions for you. Let's, and there's two, if you that's want. A, that's a, thanks. No, 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 it's not. Okay, an hour and 27 minutes. All right. We're four seconds in, I can tell. Can Did I you get the insurance? No. <laughs> Here, hold this out. Hold this out in front of anything that, that looks like it'll take it. I don't know what that is. Um, what about the? Uh, it's high up. What about the? Uh, there we go. Yay! I don't know what she said. <laughs> she said I could go. Yeah. Catch you later. We have a direction to you. <laughs> 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 oh geez, you're really close, Bill. I'd be closer on that side. Do you want to drive? <laughs> <laughs> Is that an option? <laughs> this place is really cool. This is just really neat. It'll be even better when we drop our bags. Fourth floor. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Nice. This is kind of cool. Is that one of the beds? No. Okay. There's a bedroom here, and there's one where, where you walk in. Oh, wow. Cute. Check it out. Cute. Very cute. Yeah. Oh, you could just set them down. Oh, I don't have any cash, though. I'm all out of cash. If he has now, if, have one if, he have one, if he doesn't have the left bower, it's over. It's all okay. No, then that's it. Then I got the camp. I got it. That's it. That's it. Basically. So I got all five. So I, I accept their apology. Yes, yeah. but we got them right where they wanted. They're arguing on the first hand. I mean, wow. this is this really couldn't work out better for it. They got they got four they got four points, but they're basically on the ropes. Mark, you can try as hard as you might. <laughs> You're on the ropes. No. Yes. That's called a win. Right there. No! Mark, Stroke up for there. Get your wallet ready, Mark. Because <laughs> you're buying gelato. They cheated, and we'll play again tomorrow. We're not recording tonight. Tonight it's not included. Two five. To not, tonight Ten to five. Not, we're not including tonight. Add it up. I forgot my wallet. You're buying, right? You I forgot my wallet. First can buy, that's okay. You can tap. <laughs> you can tap. tap. Our phones are dead. Cheers. Cheers. How is it? I don't even like ice cream. The flavor of the wind makes it so much better. <laughs> <laughs> right down okay. the left. Okay. Wait, we did. Alright, sounds good. Yeah, you guys outside now, or you're still, you're still in the room. We we walked out the door and turned left and went to the corner, but we could turn right and go to the corner. Yeah, I, I'm gonna put. I, I might as well just put it in my phone now at this point. <laughs> okay. I just guess it so far. Okay, bye. Alright, bye. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, hello there. <laughs> I guess you know where we are. We're at the Ferrari Museum. I'm not sure what's going to unfold here, but I know that everything is very beautiful. So, let's go see some things. I did find it interesting though that even in a Ferrari Museum, I still don't read anything. <laughs> I still don't read anything. I think for a car enthusiast, it is super fun to see the timeline of everything on the walls as it progressed because there's lots of different things going on here. 
there's engine growth, there's body and design growth, there's development of the people, and then the splash that they have made all over the world. Did you see that wall of all the Paul Newman, Mick oh, yeah, Jagger, yeah, yeah. Gordon Ramsay, Colby Bryant? Mm -hmm. Like, it's just fun to see what something that is so elite mm -hmm. would attract yeah. and what like, comes of it. Let me tell you what you won't find. You won't find any references of the Ford vs. Ferrari movie. like a three course meal. It's amazing. It was fabulous. And just when you think like I'm taking a break, they bring the bread. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it's true. So anyway, but I saw this at someone's table and my Italian ends at thank you, you know? Mm -hmm. So grazie, that's it. So anyway, but I did know chocolate. Mm. So they brought this, but they said this is the specialty of the house. And then all of a sudden, all of this <laughs> stuff started coming. So I don't really know, but we're going to do a little taste test. Oh. Oh. That's like... Thing. Vitamin D chocolate. Chin chin. Do you like it? It's really good. Here. He wants more. No, no, no. I'm fine. You want to take a little shot? It's delicious. What I like is that when everybody was like, no, just the check, we're super full. I'm like, chocolate? I see you working on this one. They produce a summer vinegar of 20 years old. 20 years, yes. 20 years old, at least, actually. You can do also something better. Dude, you just got it down your whole shirt. <laughs> in the sauce. What do you have to say for yourself? Right now, this part in the middle is 50 years old. Over there, 100. And where you are, 150. <laughs> Cinco Terre de Venice is about a five hour trip. We decided to break up the drive and stay in Parma and we were pleasantly surprised. In many ways, it's what we wanted from Florence without the crowds or tourism. Most Italian cities come to life at night with restaurants spilling out into the streets, but Parma had wonderful markets and great food in addition to the nightlife. So for $12, for 12 euro, we're sitting here with a glass of Prosecco, we're having a full meal, a warm meal, and you end with a cafe, 12 euro. But before leaving for Venice, how about a mini tour of our Airbnb? The rooms are identical, so I'll just give you a little tour of this room. They used a wide angle on the VRBO. <laughs> <laughs> but it's still so cool. So a little bed here, but look at this. This is so neat. Here is the window. And right down there is a little bar. Mm. It's hilarious. At nighttime, it turns into this rocking little place mm. and it just spills out into the street. Very Italy. So anyway, we have this. Two rooms that look just like this. King beds, always watch your head. Mark oh. has about seven lumps on his head from all the different things. Um, I throw my towels in the shower when we're done so that it's easy for whomever cleaning up. But you have the European duo. This, you know, never works anywhere we stay, but I think that it is a kind of like um, a heater for your yep. towels and mm -hmm. also for the room. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, sink, super easy. Make sure you bring your little your little switch out changes so you can let's use talk about let's device. talk about the steps here the step the okay, step there it is a little you don't want to go to the bathroom at night without a light okay because you will die anyway yeah. so there is a kitchen one of these super cool i love these you wash your mm -hmm. dishes and then you just dry them up there yes. and then it drips into the sink that's a, such a great idea isn't it so cool so i put it on instagram and someone said it originated in norway wow i don't know imagine that to me, to me. <laughs> so anyway we have burner look at this incognito fridge yeah. Isn't that cool? Oh, we got to get the stuff out of there. Yeah, we will. Okay. And then, um, and then identical room right here. We have a working table, which is the best part if you do work from the road. You euchre know. table. Euchre table. A place to sit, but we also got to do euchre. There's a sofa. It looks really nasty, mm -hmm. but it's an area to sit if you want to, <laughs> at your own risk. But um, anyway, Parma. Total surprise get out of the ballpark. Yeah, it was great. Amazing food. It's supposed to be like the foodie place to come, mm -hmm. Bologna, the whole region. Mm -hmm. They have different areas for different kinds of food. Obviously, this is Parmesan. We're a little tapped out on tours, so we didn't do the Parmesan tour, but we ate all the Parmesan. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, and then away we go. When they say that you're on the third floor, you're really on the fourth mm -hmm. floor as far as stairs are concerned. So we climb up four sets of stairs, get your heart rate going, and then you start thinking about eating again. So it's it's really good. <laughs> <laughs> if you struggle with carrying your own luggage up four or five flights of stairs, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, I suppose you could be very deliberate on places that you pick, 
that might have an elevator. It's far a few between, I've noticed. Grazie. Greg. How you girls doing back there? The longest route to Venice. You're great. You're great? Huh? Who's ready to go to Venice? We're cuddled up back here on the way to Venice. Northeast toward 813. Yeah, but usually it has an arrow. Yeah, this one has an arrow. Oh, yeah. And then this is just a one camera. One camera. See, man, of those. Full size Chevrolet step side. Wow. Wow. I don't see that very often, ever. Oh, that would be cool. So that's how we'd be going in. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, there you are. Very excited. 35 euros a day, 24 hour parking. Perfect. <laughs> okay, so I think, look, here's our first bridge. There's over 400 of those puppies here. Okay, <laughs> so look, we're gonna go down here. I think there's some public transit. Okay. We're gonna save our money for the gondola. We're okay. Doing it. <laughs> it wasn't stinky on the canal. No, not at all. It's just stinky in between these buildings right here. Yeah. So and actually, I will tell you, my first impressions are actually kind of well, kind of surprised. That you like it? Yes. I ah. mean, it's very, very unique. Very, very. Very unique. unique. We're not like staying too long. So anyway, so we can soak it all in. Yeah. No pun intended. So, you know, you're on all this water, but it's all salt water. Yeah. But these right behind me, these are called sisters. Mm. And every single plaza will have one, and it's how they collected the natural water. So then you can fill your water bottle up. It's all good water. Did I just make a comment this morning about stairs? You could climb Everest or you could just come to Venice. A table for you guys, just in case you do want to cook. You have a fully equipped kitchen in here. Plates, pops, pans, everything is here for you, okay? Awesome. You have an espresso machine with some cocktails, tea, sugar, biscuits, so help yourselves. Mm -hmm. Couple for two nights. 1100, two nights, two couples is 250 a night. Right, yeah. Yeah. And a hotel is more. And a hotel would be more in Venice. And you're all together and we have coffee and little, you know, breakfast. So all we really need is the walkers to divide this puppy by three. Yeah. Oh my gosh, we have a third only, bedroom too. I know. We only have a small child in the other one. That's where I'm sleeping. <laughs> We're gonna go down there, we're mm. going to have aperitifs, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna go walk to this restaurant he just told us about. It's all vegetables and meat. Oh, sounds awesome. Yes. And we got a new you book this when? You booked this like three days ago? Mm -hmm. Four yeah. days ago. We were in, we were in Cinque Terre and I booked it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it was like well, four days ago. Okay. Well, hey, being right on the water is nice, and these guys singing yeah. and all that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. These are the steps. That's the number of steps. That is a beautiful door. Okay, 13, 4, 50, 51, 52, 53, 53, 53 steps to the place. That's a lot. That's a lot of steps. I feel like Rain Man. That's good, you really looked the part. Perfect. You got right in. I don't know whose Instagram we're gonna be on, but it's gonna be the best. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 
Thank you. All right, what's going on? What is happening? There's a classic little aperitif here, and it is this white fish that's blended. I need to get the name for you. I'll work on that tomorrow, but it's the evening snack, and we're having it with wine, and we're waiting for a little table, because I guess this is where the locals go. This is not the hustle bustle, yeah. a little bit more calm. It is, much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I tell you, I really thought I wasn't gonna like Venice, but I think it's cool. I love it so far. It's cool. <laughs> it's so fun. Cheers. So much of the experience depends on the experience in total. How did you get there? What happened when you first arrived? How busy was it? What time of year is it? Like, there's so many factors that go into if something is good or bad. It's almost impossible to compare one experience to the next. And that's why I think Rick Steves is so key here is because he's been enough times where he really can compare one place to another, the same place, year after year after year, and we've only had one experience here, so we can share our experience, but it's almost impossible to really provide a recommendation. So I guess that was a long way of saying, take whatever we say with a grain of salt. What do you think, Trish? Oh, so I can't serve meat any other way. Look at this, it's gorgeous. What do we order anyway? I don't even remember. Meat platter. <laughs> meat platter. <laughs> my Sorry. rank is one of my top dinners, and that's only because I'm from out of town. Because that steak was one of the potatoes. best. No, it, was so it wasn't that. It wasn't our bias. It wasn't. It was good. It was hundred percent our bias, and it was good. It was so good. <laughs> so good. Do you think that it was just because we haven't we've been eating so much pasta, or do you think that steak was really as good as we thought it was? My dad owned a meat market. I grew up in a meat market. That was spectacular. That's what I think. <laughs> One of the things we love to do, especially in a busy or touristy destination, is wake up early to hear the sounds and see how the place works. It feels like a behind the scenes tour of a city. No matter how busy a place gets during the day, you'll almost always have it to yourself before 8 a.m. Waking up early and taking a walk in a new place is the way to go. It's that and taking a tour. You kind of get to know the lay of the land, mm -hmm. but you also get to see all the people that are making your area, town, whatever, come to life. These people are working hard. Yeah, they are. Okay. You know, um, we're about to go on the gondola. Get over here. He's negotiating the gondola for us. Yes, so we're, he's gonna take us for a quick half an hour loop, and he's gonna drop us off for dinner. So here we go. Were you taught gondoliering through your family line? No, 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 I'm the first one. I'm the first You're the first yeah. one? Really? Tommy, it seems like you know everybody. How was your gondola ride? Gondola ride was amazing. However, <laughs> I think that if you come here, you could take one, you could not take one. You could just go and grab a glass of wine and dangle your little feet on the water's edge mm -hmm. and explore the whole town just walking around. The vibe is here, it doesn't matter where you are or what you do or how much money you spend. You can have an experience here that's worthwhile. Yeah.
burger or are you gonna go chicken nuggets? You think maybe they have gnocchis? <laughs> what do you want, Trish? I wanna look at the menu. I don't think I've eaten at McDonald's since I was a kid. It's like a little culinary advice. I don't think chicken nuggets translate to be good in any country or any language. They're yeah. just not good food. Yeah. They don't use real chicken nuggets. They just they, they take it, they blend it up and recreate it and glue it back together. I just don't think it's it's not like a Wendy's chicken nugget. All right, but you like mayo. You like the, the Thousand Island on the Big Mac. Yeah. So they all don't have that. Take the exit to no. Vigo Darts area. Big Mac. Central. It's Big Mac is two whole beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions on a sesame seed bun. <laughs> Lunch menu, you want me to show you yeah. the lunch menu? Lunch menu. A double cheeseburger, double yeah. chicken. Double cheese. Double cheeseburger? Um, what yep. kind of drink do I, I want? Back. No, that's okay. Look, I can get a Peroni. I can get a beer. You can get a beer here. Oh, wow. You want a Peroni? No. Just for the kicks? Um, yes, just for the kicks. It's 20 cents. Okay. Okay. I qualify. Yes. Okay, great. Now. Oh wait, can we add? I want to um, add to the order. Can we add ma mail? Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. How come I can't add more than one? Dollars, eleven euros and forty cents. Done. Okay. We don't want any coffee. Actually, we should get a coffee here. So one small double cheeseburger with ketchup and a Peroni. One small double cheeseburger. Coke zero. You want to get a coffee just to see what it's like? Yes, right here. Okay, okay espresso. Well, it's just gonna be espresso. All right, are you excited? Margaret, are you excited? I'm excited. Because Did you get anything specialty? Did you get a specialty something? Yes. What'd you get? Chicken bacon avocado. Chicken bacon avocado. With my fries, I've got, I got the cheddar fries. Cheddar fries. It's like poutine. Is that? <laughs> is that? <laughs> yeah. So things we've noticed. Wendy and I both got a Peroni. I'm not really interested in having a beer with my McDonald's, but I feel like when you're in Italy and you're at McDonald's, you gotta order the thing that you can't normally get. Bill says they charge extra for ketchup, and he also says there's some cheesecake over there, yeah. right? With uh, some, what would you say on top, like strawberries or something? Strawberry cheesecake. Strawberry cheesecake. And little tiramisu and then, things. <gasps> tiramisu. tiramisu. So that's all really interesting. I'll go over there next after we, uh, I got a double pounder on a sesame bun with cheese. Did you just say double pumper and a sesame seed bun? <laughs> Let's take a look. I got a bad, I don't even have to get something else. That's their double. Is it small? Not small. Is it always small? Is it even small in the States? I wonder. Mm. As far as I'm concerned, that's what a quarter pounder tastes like in the States. I think once out of every 10 years is the just the perfect amount of frequency to eat at McDonald's. But I don't regret eating there because I think it's interesting to see how McDonald's is in different countries. So the next one I eat at will probably be in another country. Yeah. But I think I'm. You're all set. I think with, I'm all set. You're all set with McDonald's for a I'm couple. All set. For that, another decade. <laughs> yeah. One more decade. Huh? How was the grocery store? Fabulous. I got shampoo, and yeah. conditioner, and a little dry shampoo. Il tipo di pagamento. Passa la carta e segui le istruzioni sul pin pad. This is the last episode in the Italian series. Before we get back to the States, check up on the Airstream. Trish, you ready to get back in that thing? Yeah, well. You go across you know the country? I think um, I think we need a reboot. We Big need, time. We need to fix some things. We need to clean some things. And visit Caleb to ride George Hincapie's Grand Fondo in South Carolina. Thank you. Oh yeah, hey, how are you? Next week is our season recap video. We learned so much from our time in Italy, and we want to share some things we'd do differently if we came back to make it even more enjoyable and a bit less fatiguing as traveling abroad can be. It's getting soaking wet as our bags. We got a 15 minute walk. But before we go, here's some extra clips. One of the nice things about the hotel though, or at least this one, is we had a fitness center and it had a pretty nice little spin mic. I'm excited about the fact that we're not only sitting here with great friends, okay? And Bill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm starting. Okay. okay. <laughs> See you.
You like those? Think? They're so fun. They're so like fun. Them? Oh, I love them. Yeah. Phil, what do you think? What do my girls say? They have your girls would your girls would drop them. Any mate and Grace would have been. Yeah, you they think they'll, been no they'll say. Were. What do you think, Phil? Like, look at him. Look at him. Just look at him stare. He doesn't even know what to say. He doesn't know what to say. He doesn't know what to say. I don't have the right answer. I, I am so tired of hitting my head <laughs> <laughs> on everything. You hit on the doors. You hit on the beams. At 5:30 in the morning. And I didn't notice that they had an edge right here. That's what probably hurt so bad. This hurts so bad. So the coolest part about European beaches are that you can rent a little chair and they'll bring you drinks. But there are also public beaches. So right here is the public beach. And everywhere you see the cute little umbrellas, that's where you can rent a chair for the day. I packed my Speedo and you took it out of my bag. <laughs> you put a Speedo in a sock. And I said, we're not going to play that game. <laughs> well, you didn't have to tell everybody my secret. Okay. No, no, you can move, Trish. You can move to make them work. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll move. Okay, Look at your husband out there getting involved, getting engaged with all the tourist things. Trish knows how to pull you in <laughs> in her sweet little way.